sometimes it's a lot of work to move resources between region up on Azure. I've seen people backing up their resources from one region and then restoring it manually to their subscription in another region. The good news is you can leverage on the Azure resource mover to make your resource move experience a very seamless one. That's what I'm going to be showing you today in this video. So let's check it out. So for the purpose of this demo, I've created a resource group called R Mover, as you can see here. And uh, the R Mover resource group has some resources in it. And those resources are all located in the central US region. So the task or my goal here is to move those resources from the central US region to another region. In this example, I'm going to be moving them to the West Europe region. So I'm going to be moving them to the West Europe region. So let's do it. The first thing you need to do is for you to come to the search bar here and search for Azure Resource Mover. As you can see here, we're able to use the Azure Resource Mover to do a couple of things, uh, such as move resources to another subscription. We can use it to move resources to another resource group. And we can also use it to move resources to another region. So which is what we're trying to do now. So I'll click on this option. So I'm going to select my subscription and also select the region where I currently have my resources located, which is Central US. I'll go ahead and select my destination region or my target region. So I plan to move all those resources to West Europe. I'll click next. Select the resources that you plan to move. So, but one cool thing about the Azure Resource Mover is that it can help you take care of dependencies if you need to move those also. So that you don't have to worry about having to move those dependencies manually. Uh, for example, a VM is made up of other components, components such as a network interface card, you have storage account, you have the NSG and so on. So now when you want to move, you don't have to worry about selecting everything. You can simply decide to select only the VM and depend on the Azure resource mover to move other dependent uh, resources that is associated with that VM. So in this case, I plan to move two of my VMs here. So I'm going to select just the VM. So we can also check out how the Azure Resource Mover can help us with dependencies. So I'll click on my Lab VM02. I also plan to move the Lab VM01. Click on Done. I'll click on Next. So this screen here tells us more about the move process, right? So I'm going to click on Proceed to continue. Now that the resources have been added, I'll click on this. It's time to validate the dependencies that are associated with those resources that we would like to move. So I'll click on it and let it do its job. Validate dependencies. So I'm going to go right ahead and add the dependencies. So you can review the dependencies and add them as you wish. So I'm just going to select all here and click on Add Dependencies. Now that the dependencies have been added, note that before you can prepare and move resources, the resource group that is hosting those your resources will need to be moved first uh, to the target region. That is, you will need to move the source resource group to the target region first before you can start to move, uh, let's say, your VM and other resources or your other workloads. So here is my resource group. R remover. So I'm going to select that resource group first, prepare the resource group for the move operation. All right. So the prepare operation succeeded. So I'm going to go right ahead and initiate a move for the resource group. Always remember to click the commit move. If your intention is to actually perform the move operation and you're not trying to test things out. So if you're testing things out and you don't commit, then the operation will not be moved. Now that we've moved our resource group, 
we can now start preparing to move other resources. I, in this case, I plan to move my VM and the associated resources. So I can select my VM here. How about I select everything? And I'm going to click on prepare once again so that this step can prepare the resources that we want to move once again. Keep in mind that this can take longer depending on the type of resources that you're trying to move. If, for example, you're trying to move a SQL server with a big amount of data in it, you expect that to take more time. All right, so the next step is for us to now initiate the move. Click on initiate move. So at this point, the resources will get moved from the source region to the target region. All right, so now that the move operation has been completed, so I'm going to go right ahead and commit the move. All right, so we just need to give it a little time here for the move uh, to complete successfully, and we can then go ahead and commit the move. So you try to hit the refresh button a couple of times and make sure that uh, the progress here or the status is reading 100%. So at the moment, you can see this is reading 30%. I'm going to give it some time and hopefully it should succeed really soon. All right, so the move is now complete. We need to now commit our move. Oh, we're having an error here. So let's see what the problem is. So if I click to see more details. Okay, so uh, it's telling us that uh, the virtual machine uh, in the state of move pending. So for some reasons, uh, we're yet to perform a move on the VM. The other resources have been moved. So those ones are waiting to just be committed. But in the case of the two VM, they are still pending move. So, so as you can see here, possible cost is to be able to execute the commit operation, the resources should be in a state of commit pending, meaning the move operation should be completed first before we can complete a move. So let, let's go back and uh, perform a move operation on the two VMs. All right, so just as we can see here, we can see we've success, successfully moved and completed uh, the resource group, and that is waiting to be deleted, right? Delete source pending. Um, in the case of the other associated resources of the VM, like uh, the network interface card, so it's just waiting to be committed. Commit move is pending. But for the two VMs, uh initiate move is pending so i'm going to select the two vm and go ahead and initiate move as you can see the move operation has now succeeded we can now go ahead select all the resources and hit commit move All right, so the commit step has now been completed. The status of each of the resources has now changed to delete source pending. So meaning uh, that you can, if you wish, go to the source region and delete the resources from the source region. So we can try to check things out by going to our resource group. So this was my former resource group. R mover was uh, the name that I gave to it. And you can see uh, the location is central US. So if I click on it here, so it's hosting all of this, my resources in central US. So right now, the content of the R mover, R mover resource group has now been moved over. They've been copied over to the R mover West Europe. So you can see the Armover West Europe contain or contains a replica of the same resources that we have up here in the Armover. 
So if you wish now, you can go ahead and delete this resource group uh, with all the with all of its resources in the central US region. All right, so that's how you move resources between region using the Azure Resource Mover. All right, so if this video is useful for you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.